Doctor Who the Invasion Episode 5 Warehouse Jamie the Cyberman Doctor Shh Jamie, where did they come from? Doctor, I don't know, Jamie, but they're here, aren't they? Come on, let's go back to the canoe. They paddle down back down the canal. Aeroplane Zoe, what do you think will happen? Turner, well, it's not really a military matter now. Isabel, you sent me hand this over to the police? Turner, more or less. Isabel, pity you could have not got something, some great pictures made of bombs selling them to the papers. Oh, well. Turner, look, perhaps I can compensate by buying you dinner. Isabel, that would be nice. Hey, what are you stinking rich? Turn not on a captain's pay, I'm not. Isabel, it's not my day, is it? Turn on money isn't everything, you know. The doctor and Jamie enter. Zoe, doctor, any luck? What did you find out? Jamie, some old friends of ours are here, Zoe. Zoe, who? Jamie, the cyberman. Doctor, yes, I'm afraid it's true, Zoe. Zoe, that's what you suspected, wasn't it? Isabel, what on earth are cybermen? Doctor, they're from another world. Inhuman killers. Tony, you mean they're from space or something? Doctor and Zoe, yes, Zoe. And that spaceship we saw on the other side of the moon was obviously their craft. Isabel, what are they? Green, little green men? Or, or are you serious? Zoe, we, we have met the cybermen before and seen what they can do. Turner, what, where exactly are they, are they, and how many? Jimmy, at Vaughan's headquarters in London. Doctor, ah, oh, there's hundreds of them, possibly thousands. Zoe, uh, so Vaughan's helping them. Doctor, the be- deep space radio transmitter is obviously being used by sideband sa- spaceships to home in, in, on, in on. Turner, so that's what those UFOs were. There, ha- there have been hundreds of th- those sightings. Jimmy, aye, they must have been have quite an army by now. The thing is, where are they hiding them all? Doctor, I don't know, Jimmy. Captain, where's the brigadier? Turner, a minist- at the Ministry of Defence. I better get onto him immediately and tell him what you discovered. Doctor, no, no, Captain. The people who went into Vaughan's headquarters were different when they came out, weren't they? Turner, yes. Zoe, so you think they're being controlled, Doctor? Doctor, Turner controlled? Zoe, yes, the same man. Had means of controlling people's minds. They appear to be almost normal, but they're not. They're controlled. Doctor, who is the who is the brigadier? Is who is the brigadier? Is the brigadier is immediately answerable to Turner, Major General Rutledge, Rutledge's office. Rutledge, brigadier. No cause for alarm, Billy. Do you realise what happened? They tried to shoot down one of my helicopters, Rutledge. You're trespassing over the top military area. Brigadier, oh, for heaven's sake. If you can't trust a unit force. Who can you trust? Rutledge, there's nothing. There's nothing. We, Brigadier, what's the matter? Rutledge, oh, nothing. Nothing at all. Brigadier, Brigadier look, Billy, Vaughan's power chap, powerful chap. I know that. But surely we can at least request a thorough investigation. Rutledge, that isn't our providen- providence. But Brigadier, well then, who providence is it? Right, this is no good in getting angry about this. You must see, it's from my point of view. All you are given is a vague report, so nothing conclusive, no proof. Brigadier, no proof, Rutledge. I'm sure this is a misunderstanding. I took the C, a C of internal security himself. Brigadier, but Billy, talk isn't going to help. I want some sort of action. I want it now, at least. Get civil authorities to investigate. Rutledge, you have to leave this matter with me. Brigadier, will I? Rutledge, if you think you're going to see C yourself, see you see yourself, I wouldn't bother. You're wasting your time. Brigadier, so they're going to do nothing. What sort of hold has Vaughan over, on, got on you? Rutledge, Vaughan? Brigadier, your unit force will take no precarious action without top priority permission. That is an order. Brigadier, I will see, I will see, sir. Will you, will you can, well, you can override my authority, but not that of the unit general c- command. I'm sending a full report to them in Geneva. Let Bridge Stewart support sloots and leaves. Rutledge activates his intercom. Rutledge, international, it, 
Electromatics Central Office. Sir, could you just one moment, please, sir? Rutledge, ah, oh, ah, oh, with priority scramble. Secretary, yes, sir. Vaughan's office, Vaughan. Has Gregory, how Gregory worked with Professor Watkins on the, mach- the, machine, on the machine? Packer, yes, Mr. Vaughan. Vaughan, no, wait. Vaughan answers his in call. Vaughan, report, man. In communication with Major Daniel Ratlish on public video. Vaughan, switch to visual con- circuit. What is it, Rutledge? Rutledge, the unit group. Vaughan, well? well, well. Rutledge, a monitor. There'll be there'll be trouble. I can't stop it. Well, why not? You have authority to Rutledge on monitor. I know authority outside this country. A repeat. A report is being made to unit central command control. A band investigate and take action. Vaughan, I see. How long before that this will be effective? Rutledge, I think I should stop. Vaughan, Rutledge, Rutledge. Well, that Packer, what's wrong? What's the matter of him? Vaughan, listen to me, Rutledge. Listen, you will obey my commands, you understand, Rutledge. I monitor your commands. Vaughan, you will leave your office and come here to me. For Rutledge, I monitor to you. Vaughan, immediately. Do you understand? Rutledge, I monitor. I must your commands. Vaughan, do you understand? Rutledge, I monitor. Yes, I understand, I understand. Vaughan, good fellow. Transmission ends. Packer, what was the matter of him? Vaughan, Vaughan, our control over him is weakening. Packer, well, that could be dangerous. If he doesn't obey our, your orders to come over here. here he might. Vaughan, well, he will, Packer, he will. Airplane, Walters takes a telephone call. Walters, are you sure, miss? I see. Right, thanks, sir. Turn got, got him? Walters, no, sir. General Watley's secretary So he left some time ago. Well, Turn I see. What about the, the brigadier? Walters, apparently, he wasn't there long. He must be on his way back now, Turner. Right, Doctor, it seems we're too late. Who it is, I've already been to see Rutledge. Doctor, oh dear. Turner, yes, the question is now, where exactly do we stand with Rutledge? Vaughan's office. Vaughan, I must know, Rutledge. You must tell me how long, how long before the unit forces can take action. Rutledge, one day, maybe two. Vaughan, good, time enough. Packer, well, I don't like it. Suppose the unit forces move faster than that. Suppose they want to come over. Vaughan, let me do the supposing, Packer. Packer, yes, Mr. Vaughan. Vaughan, now just, now they just to be on the safe side. I think we'd better conduct an experiment, Packer. What do you mean, Vaughan? Have the professor's machine taken down to the warehouse. Wait outside, I'll join you later. Packer, what are you going to do, Vaughan? Wait and see, Packer. Wait and see, Packer. Oh, yes, sir. What about him? Vaughan, I'll leave him to me. Packer leaves. Vaughan's up into the secret panel. Vaughan, there's been some difficulty. We must alter our plans, Planner. Report the difficulty. We will assess it. Vaughan, we must bring the evasion forward. Planner, our evasion is not yet complete. Vaughan, the invasion must take place in 15 hours. Otherwise, we may have to face the combined forces of the entire world. Planner, yet wait while I, the while the report will be assessed. Vaughan, you can oh, you accept what I say. Our partnership is at an end. Evasion will take place at that dawn tomorrow. Planner, it has been agreed. The data has been computed. Evasion details transmitted to you. Discussion terminated. Warehouse. More Cybermen are being reactivated. Packer, how many more? Well, about 15 more crates. Packer, hurry up, workman. Yes, sir. Packer opens the secret door. A nearby brick wall. Packer, follow me. Secret room. Packer goes to wooden sta- up a wooden staircase. Packer, have you received your orders? Sidemen, yes. Packer, you will proceed through the sewer tunnels to the allotted sectors. There will be a, there you obey commands of your sector leader. Sidemen, we understand. Packer will proceed. Airplane, the doctor has a diagram labelled main drainage. Doctor, you see a network of tunnels underneath London. Brigadier, that is where you think they might be? Doctor, yes, and look, there's a main flood release, so we're running right underneath the warehouse. Brigadier, yes, but there's water in the sewers. Won't that affect them? Doctor, no, no, besides, many of these tunnels are dry, only flood during heavy rainfall. Israel, what do we do? Pray for cloudburst? Brigadier, Miss Watkins, this could be very, this could be very serious, Isabel. I'm sorry, but well, it's a pretty fantastic story to swallow. Brigadier, yes, but it was, but so was the attack from the Yeti, and nevertheless it happened. 
Turner, with due respect, sir, he's right. No one believed in the Yetis until they saw them. If you go to central command this story, they think that you're mad. But if you're yes, Jimmy, you're right. Of course, what we really need is some sort of evidence, some proof. Dodder, it might be better at the moment to find out what form this attack's going to take, Jamie. Jamie, what? Doctor, the transmitter radio that Vaughan gave him. Have you still got it? Jamie, I hear. Jamie hands it over. The doctor starts to dismantle it. Doctor Boudier, have you any IE equipment here? Boudier, uh, Jimmy, have we? Jimmy, yes, we have, sir. Computer and various radio and um, co- co- radar component, components. Dada, may I see them, please? Brigadier, certainly, Jimmy. Would you? Turner, it, I'll show you, Doctor, this way. Doctor, thank you. Warehouse. Packer watches. Seven men carefully go down the manhole in the secret room, then goes back to the warehouse proper. Rowan, ah, oh, there you are, Packer. Everything going well? Packer, yes, Mr. Rowan. Rowan, good time for our li- Good time for our little experiment. Gregory, Mr. Vaughan, I don't think you should, Vaughan. You must try the machine, Gregory. Gregory, but it's dangerous. Vaughan, it's, it will be even more dangerous if we don't try. We must make sure we have an effective weapon against the Cybermen. Pega, they, they, you're going to try it on one of them? Vaughan, why not? Vaughan goes to up to crate. Vaughan, will you revive it just enough to bring it out of its cocoon? Technician, yes, sir. The technicians attach the cable to the cocoon and switch on the machine. The Cyberman rips open the material. Vaughan, Vaughan, hold it there. Now, Gregory, connect the professor's machine. Gregory puts a box on the floor and holds the cable nervously. Gregory, Gregory, Mr. Vaughan, please. Vaughan, connect it. Gregory puts the silvercoat coat attachment. Onto the Cyberman's head, picks up his box and blacks away. Greggy, what emotions shall I douche? Vaughan fear. Let's see how the Vaughan Cyberman will act of fear. Gregory switches on his box, increase the power. The Cyberman start to sway and make groaning electronic noises. Vaughan, no power. Gregory, what? That's all there is. The Cyberman rips the attachment from its head and staggers around, throwing his arms. God shoot at it with no effect. Packer, quick. Humans get out of its way. The Cyberman staggers in the secret room. Gregory, I warned you, the machine isn't ready yet. It's following the others into the sewers. Well, let's go. Packer, has gone mad. It could have, it could have killed us all. Vaughan, possibly. But I think we've proved that the process of the machine can be effective. Get him to work on it. Gregory, I want twice as much power. I want directional control. Packer, yeah. But what about that one? You can't let it roam down there alone. Well, why not? Packer, well, it'll kill anything that gets in its way. Vaughan, good. Anyone's fool enough to be down there, there in those sewers deserves to die. Airplane, Isabel, you know, you really believe these Cybermen things are down in the sewers? Brigadier, it seems to make sense. Isabel, you can't do anything about it without proof or evidence. Brigadier, Central Command would think I was mad, Isabel. Well, the answer's simple. Surely, go and get some proof. Bring it in, and how do I prove that in the sewers of London are creatures from outer space waiting to attack us? Go and get one? Isabel, you wouldn't stand a chance against them, Isabel. You, Terry, you wouldn't, you wouldn't stand a chance against them, Isabel. Isabel, oh, you wouldn't have to go anywhere near them. Photograph them. Bring it in, that's not a bad idea. Now, wait a minute. Be pitch dark down there in those tunnels. Isabel, you can see in the infrared film a 25 fil- five filter on a 35 mil camera with a telephone lens. You would have a frame, take a frame out of frame without getting anywhere near them. Brigadier, it is all that gibberish or do you really know what you're talking about? Isabel, of course I know. Brigadier, if you're right, you could well be the sort of proof I need of, to get some action. You know, well, I need, all I need is my cameras from the house. And then I'll be all set, Brigadier. Now, wait a minute. It's hardly a job for you, Isabel. Why ever not, Brigadier? You're, well, you're a young woman. This is a job for my men. Isabel, well, of all the Brigadier anti-feminist correctness remarks, Brigadier, this is no job for a girl like you. Now, that's final. Isabel, oh, you and you, you, you men. Isabel, Brigadier. I'll get in touch with my photographic unit and get them onto it. 
You know, oh, that stupid, bigoted, idiot, idiotic Jamie Arwell. He's right, you know. Zoe, Jamie McCribbin. Jamie, well, he is, Zoe. Now, just because you're a man, you think you're superior, do you? Jamie, no, I don't say that. Of course it's true. Uh, Zoe, is really? Right, come, come in, Isabel. Isabel, what a splendid idea. So, Jamie, where are you coming? Zoe, do you think we should let him go, come with us? Isabel, no, I don't know. Men are such good, aren't much good in situations like this. Jamie, just a moment. Where are you going? Isabel, London coming. London? Zoe, Jamie's out in London? Now he shouldn't do anything without the doctor. Ouch. Isabel and Zoe leave, followed by Jamie. Another section of the big Hercules transport. Doctor, this is rather like looking for the proverbial needle. The proverbial, per, in the proverbial. Just a minute. Turn her phone in something? Turn, I don't know. Wait a minute. The doctor pulls a small computer kit, kit chip, a piece of you, you, you equipment. Uh, yes, I must I'm not sure. It's the same sort of circuit that was in that was in Jamie's radio. Turn up, but what does it do? Doctor, I have no idea, but it's certainly not part of the equipment. Have a look. Diana. But why even put it in the circuit? It doesn't do anything. Doctor, oh it does something alright. The question is what? Thorne's office planner. One hour for evasion, the cyber transmitter units be launched into orbit around Earth. Vaughan, the effect will be immediate. Planner, yes, transmissions will penetrate all areas. Vaughan, and if it doesn't work, Planner, humans cannot resist cyber control. Our forces will penetrate all areas and select suitable humans for cybernetic conversion. Vaughan, conversion to survivor men? Planner, yes, the unsuitable humans will be destroyed. Well, no, this is not what we agreed. Planner, it had been decided wrong. We agreed that it should remain in control of Earth. Return us blind and minimum you require. Your honor, let go again. Otherwise, there'll be no evasion. Planner, to control, you must undergo complete conversion and become one of us. Well, no, my body must, may be cybernetic, but my mind stays human. That's fine, it's final. Planner, there had been agreement. Been agreed. Decision concluded. Vaughan closes the secret panel. Packer, you don't trust them. Vaughan, of course not. I know they're trying to take control from me when their invasion's complete. And then they don't know about the celebration, celebration, celebration machine, do they? Packer, well, I don't like it. A thing just said humans comes this control. How do we know that cyber transmitters aren't going to affect us? For only won't. We shall be protected by the impl- implanted uh, to audio rejection capsules. You see, Packer, I thought of this. All this out in detail. Nothing has been overlooked. Airplane. Turner. Found anything? Doctor. No, I'm afraid not. What I really need to, is a laboratory facilities. I'm sure this micromorphic circuit is something to do with some men's evasion plan. Do- Turner, perhaps we can find a lab for you to work in. Doctor, oh no, that's not no problem. I can go to London and use Professor Watkins' laboratory, laboratory at Trevor's house. Turner, right. I arrange transport. Doctor, thank you. Do- Turner appears at the circuit. Jeremy's his sister. Radio. Me and one of my good ears on the RT. Bring in. Arrange for a helicopter to transport them. Photographic detail here for briefing over. Man on the sea. Very good, sir. They're standing by out. Dr. Brigadier? Brigadier, yes, Doctor. Doctor, where's Jamie and Zoe and Isabel? Brigadier, no idea. Silent Waters? Waters, yes, sir. Doctor, friends of the Doctor. Any idea where they are? Waters, they took a van and went back to London, sir. Doctor, London? What on earth for? Wilkins. Waters, well, they said they were going to get someone... Think important for the brigadier, sir. Brigadier for me? Walter, yes, sir. Brigadier, oh no, he surely wouldn't have been so stupid as Sergeant, as Sergeant Walters. Walters, yes, sir. Brigadier, get Benton on the radio link. Walters, yes, sir. Doctor, what? what's the matter? What's happened? Brigadier, I'm sorry, Doctor. I think these crazy kids have gone off to sewers to get a photo of the Cybermen. Doctor, what? Street. Corporal Burton is now in un- bonnet uniform. He parks the Land Rover Jeep by a min- meter. Isabel has got a camera with her. Jamie? Well, at least let's call the doctor up fast. Zoe? Sacred? 
Jamie, scared? Sorry, scared, Jamie? Do you know what I mean? Don't even know what we're going to do. Isabel, now come on then. Jamie, ach, woman. Isabel, Zoe and Jamie Lee, Benton and the Jeep. Radio MC, a unit transport car. Two, three, report in order over. Benton picks up the microphone in his car. Radio. Benton, the car, two, three, to unit. Command, receiving you, over. Airplane, Waters. You're the, there you are, sir. Brigadier, this is a brigadier. Have you still got your passengers? Benton, no, sir. I have just dropped them. Brigadier, your position? Benton, facility red sector one, sir. Shepherd Street. Waters, it's almost on top of Vaughan's headquarters. Sir, Brigadier, which, uh, Benton, listen. Try and make contact with your passengers again. And get them to report to me. Benton, I see. I'll try, sir. But I'm not sure which way they've gone. Well, they don't make excuses, Benton. This is my top priority alert. Out to Walters. Thank you, Jimmy. I want you to take charge of this operation. Get over there at once, will you? Turn it right, right, sir. Brigadier, Sergeant, Doctor, I better, I better go back to London with him and see if him make some sort of sense of these circuits. I'm going to have to leave my three friends in a very capable, in your, in your very capable hands, Brigadier. Don't worry, Doctor. We'll get them back. Doctor, thank you. Oh, Doctor leaves, Brigadier, I hope. Sir, so at the junction of the Thor Street and Moral Lane, a manhole cover clangs into the, onto the tarmac. See, London's easy to film in, in, in on a Sunday. Sorry, Jamie. Third time lucky. Zoe, go, Zoe. Go, go, go on. Then Zoe, down we go. Jimmy, me, not me, ach. Jamie climbs down the ladder, not looking at Zoe's knickers. Zoe, right, come on, L- L- Isabel. Jamie, shh, Zoe, lower your camera down for me. First street, a policeman walks past the post office. Not there now, and calls it Isabel as he sits the op- as he sits in the open manhole. Please and hey you, what do you think you're doing down there? Therefore for for therefore going down there for you young idiots. Isabel goes down the ladder, bends in a rise and deep and goes over the policeman. Please and hey you kids, come on out on out of there. Or I'll come down with you. Serious please and Oh see, I know you're down there. Are you going to come up or oh, Oh, I do have to come down to fetch you. Jimmy, that's all we need. If he's carrying on shouting like that, we'll have every so many in the area on top of us. Zoe, shh, Jimmy, look. I think there's something further down the tunnel. Zoe, Isabel, I can't see anything. Just in case, though. Jimmy, I think we'd better go back. Come on. Zoe, oh, Jimmy, look, I was right. A silver fire cast a shadow and it's curved on a curved brick wall. Isabel, fantastic. Isabel steps forward and starts taking photographs. Jimmy, come on back. A policeman has climbed down the ladder. Is shining his torch around. Policeman, right you, kids. Where are you? Come on now, stop playing about. Are you there, then? Further along, Isabel's taking pictures. Policeman, come on, come on. I know you're down there somewhere. Jimmy, come on, you must be, you're, risk, you're risking your necks. Our next. Jimmy, come on, you're risking our next. Israel, just a few, just a couple more. Jamie, there isn't time. Come on out. Policeman has gone in a different direction from our group. Policeman, come on, come on, you'll get lost if you go wandering about down there. Come on, what the heck? Two some men stand in front of the policeman. One uses a chest unit to kill him. Israel, the policeman? Sorry, they killed him. Jamie, right. Come on. Sorry, oh, Jamie, no. Jimmy, what? So you didn't realize we can't go back that way. Jimmy, we can't go back that way. It's like that side man after. We can't go back that way. The side, that side man's after. Yes, they're coming at us from both directions. So the man behind him is one that Vaughn had made crazed with fear.